those who are joining us on the social media across this nation and even beyond thank you for finding time to join us tonight i want to teach and uh, i want to talk about the ministry of an assistant the ministry of an assistant i want to slightly divert divert from what i was teaching on the sermon on, on the mount and just do a teaching that i feel the holy spirit leading me to teach the ministry of an assistant praise the name of jesus the ministry of an assistant the ministry of an assistant is the ministry of a helper praise the name of jesus is the ministry of a helper it is like the ministry or it equals the natural ministry that is given to a wife when god saw that it was not fit for man to be alone he said i will make him a helper mate praise the name of jesus it is a natural ministry given to a wife in genesis chapter number 2 and verse 18 to 20 the bible says and the lord god said it is not good that man should be alone it is not good for anybody to work alone to labor alone praise the name of jesus to endeavor to fulfill an assignment alone that was the status that adam was in so what did god do he said i will make him a helper comparable to him then he says out of the ground the lord god formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to adam to see what he could call them and whatever adam called each living creature that was its name so you discover adam did not find a helper in the animals praise the name of jesus he gave them names he said this shall be called a b c and d and that was their names and the bible says in verse 20 so adam gave names to the to all cattle to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found a helper comparable to him praise the name of jesus if we can read on let's read on let's read on verse 21 and the lord god caused a deep sleep to fall on adam and he slept and took one of his lips and crossed up the flesh in its place then the rib which the lord god had taken from man he made into a woman and he brought her to the man and adam said this now is born of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of me so when god discovers adam is working alone adam is in the midst of animals praise the name of jesus and the birds of the air he says i will make a helper i will make an assistant praise the name of jesus who will help him to work with the animals who will help him to labor in managing my creation praise the name of jesus and it is in the heart of god to make an assistant suitable for every assignment that god has given to each and every one of us so the same ministry of an assistant is also given to the holy spirit the bible calls the holy spirit a helper 
He is our assistant. Praise the name of Jesus. He assists us. We cannot do or we cannot know God without his help. He says in John 14 and verse 26, he says, John 14, verse 26. What does he say? John 14, 26, please. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, praise the name of Jesus, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Praise the name of Jesus. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. Praise the name of Jesus. So the Holy Spirit also takes the place of an assistant. He helps us. Praise the name of Jesus. And I want to say that God has not called great men and women to stand alone. Praise the name of Jesus. In each and every assignment given to us, given to your life, whether you are in business, praise the name of Jesus. Whether you are employed in one way or another, you need somebody to assist you. You can be very productive, but you can't do everything. Praise the name of Jesus. You can't do everything. He has not called men and women of, of God to stand alone. When he calls a man, when he calls a woman, he calls others to stand alone to assist. Praise the name of Jesus. In other words, as we have the five-fold ministry, the apostles, the prophets, the teachers, the pastors, the evangelists, there is a calling that God gives to people called an assistant, a helper. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying praise the name of Jesus. No wonder in Ecclesiastes chapter number 4 and verse 9 to verse 12, the Bible says two are better than one. Two are better than one. I want to say I refuse to be alone because they have a good reward for their labor. Two people can do more work. They can have more results. They can have a greater outcome on their investment. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone. When he falls, he has no one to help him up. Praise the name of Jesus. Can you say, I refuse to be alone? I refuse to labor alone. Verses 11. Again, if two lie to, down together, they will keep warm. They will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? How can one be warm alone? Verse 12. Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Praise the name of Jesus. That is a scripture that illustrates to us the importance of an assistant. Praise the name of Jesus. Two are better than one. Because their reward is great. If one falls, the other lifts him or her up. Praise the name of Jesus. If one lies alone, especially during this cold weather, Praise the name of Jesus. It is hard to get even sleep. But when two lie together, they keep warm quickly. And then he says, when a, a cord, when, when you have a cord of three folds, it cannot easily be cut. 
In other words, there is a strength when you have a good assistant or good assistant to help you in your assignment. Praise the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter number 20 and verse 6. Proverbs 20 verse 6. The Bible says, 20 verse 6. Most men will proclaim each his own goodness. But who can find a faithful man? So this ministry of an assistant requires faithful people. Faithful people. Who can find a faithful man? So we don't only need assistance. We don't need helpers. Because we have discovered even in marriage, not every couple is ordained of God. You discover their people come together, but it is trouble from the beginning. They cannot lift up one another. Praise the name of Jesus. And not every assistant comes from God. If what you need is a faithful, a faithful assistant, the ministry of an assistant requires faithful people. People who can be trusted. Praise the name of Jesus. I can be good on my own. I can work hard on my own. But I need good assistance. Praise the name of Jesus. I need good assistance. Amen. The assistant seeks to bring glory to his or her okay and uh, the assistant seeks to bring glory to the one he or she assists he seeks or she seeks to bring glory amen in other words i'm here to support i am here to bring glory to the person whom god has called me to support i am not seeking my own glory and faithful assistants seek their own glory. They seek their own profit. But a faithful assistant seeks the glory of the one that the Lord has called him or her to assist. Can I hear you say amen? May the Lord give you faithful assistance in your life, in your career, in your business, in your family. Praise the name of Jesus. May God raise faithful assistants in the body of Christ. Are you hearing me? So that those who are running in the, in the front line can be able to receive the glory. Amen. And you need to understand that an assistant is a team player. Not a competitor, but a complementer. Praise the name of Jesus. Not a competitor. Not who takes the, 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 the gain or all the profit. But how do we gain as a team? How do I make sure that the one I'm assisting achieves the dreams and the aspirations that he, he or she has in his or her heart? Praise the name of Jesus. An assistant determines... To bring out the best results. Praise the name of Jesus. The best results. The best victories. The best achievements. And the successes. In the one they assist. A faithful assistant. Seeks to bring the best results. Praise the name of Jesus. Not the failure. Or the downfall. But the best results, the best victories, the best achievements, the best successes in the one they assist. Can I hear you say amen? Praise the name of Jesus. They seek to bring glory. They seek to bring the best results. Praise the name of Jesus that I am here to see the one I'm assisting succeed. I'm here to see the one I'm assisting achieve the victory is out to achieve. Can I hear you say amen? Many organizations, many callings, many ministries 
have been destroyed because of lack of proper or good assistance. Praise the name of Jesus. Many organizations, many people have been called by the Lord. Many ministries that could have caused the great impact have been destroyed because of lack of good assistance. Praise the name of Jesus. There are many assignments on earth today that have failed to bear the God expected fruits due to lack of proper helpers. That God intends something to be productive, to bear great fruit, to cause an impact. But because there is poor assistance, the fruit expected of God is not achieved. It is not gotten. The success is not achieved. The assignment is not fulfilled. I want to declare in the name of Jesus, may the assignment of your life be achieved in the name of Jesus Christ. May the assignment of God over this church never fail to be actualized because of bad assistance. Can somebody say amen? Absence of helpers and assistance causes the work of God to be in a plateau. It causes the work of God to be in a plateau. In a state where it does not progress. It does not go on. It does not achieve the strength it, des it deserves. It goes on a plateau. I destroy every plateau over this congregation. I destroy every plateau over your business. I destroy every plateau over your organization. In the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy every plateau over your ministry. As you watch me tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody say amen? Absence of helpers. And assistance. Causes the work of God. To plateau. Plateau means. It is not progressing. It is not going on. It is not headed to the direction it deserves. I declare, by the grace of God, let every prayer to be broken. Oh, let every prayer to be broken. May God hear my prayer. Let every prayer to in your life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. May God raise faithful assistance in our lives. Can somebody who has faith help me say amen? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. As much as God releases great ministerial gifts like apostles, prophets, teachers, and etc. Great assistants are needed. Oh God, raise up your hand and say, Oh God, it is great assistance in this ministry, in my life. Can you say whatever I do? God release great assistance in the name of Jesus. There is no achievement, remarkable achievement that has ever been achieved without great assistance. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm saying praise the name of Jesus. We can have great prophets. If they don't have great assistance, their ministry will be destroyed. Are we together? Their ministry will be destroyed. Their assignment will be destroyed. We can have great prophets with great evangelists. If they don't have proper assistance, their calling will be destroyed. I declare the body of Christ will not be destroyed. Due to lack of good assistance. Kazi ya mungu wa ita angamia. Wacha kuka. Ninataka tupigane vita pamoja. Sema kazi ya mungu wa ita kufa. Kwa kukosa good assistance. Praise the name of Jesus. I pray that every spirit of fatigue holding you. To lose you now. Can you sit?
properly can you put some figure and some energy and say every assignment of the enemy to kill my calling and my assignment it will not succeed it will not succeed every assignment of the devil against this ministry will not succeed oh god release great assistance in the name of jesus throughout the bible when god calls somebody he gave them assistance throughout the bible right from the beginning to the end he gave assistance so an assistant is a ministry it is a ministry nasema ni huduma ambao mungu anapea watu an assistant in that company you need an assistant a good assistant amen in that school in that hospital even when a doctor goes to theater no matter how educated how experienced they are they can't operate on their own they need assistance amen somebody to organize the equipment somebody can signal now give me that help me here without assistance the surgeon will not function amen every sector needs assistance and the church needs faithful great anointed assistants praise the name of jesus i'm not talking about an assistant pastor i'm talking about people lying behind the calling praise the name of jesus people lying behind the calling it could be the praise team they need to operate as assistants they could be the ushers the pastor cannot be the preacher and the usher Come on. Praise the name of Jesus. It could be the security. All those are assistants. They are assistants. Praise the name of Jesus. I can't be the preacher and the one who prepares the water for my throat. The one doing this is an assistant. Amen. If he or she is not faithful, then I will lose my voice and I cannot achieve the success that I desire. Amen? So through the Bible, you see God raising a man and an assistant. Even God himself needed an assistant or he needed assistance. What does it say in Genesis chapter number 1 verse 26 and 27? What did God say? Then God said, did he say let me make a man in my image? What did he say? What did he say? Let us make. So he was not alone. Come on. He was not alone. He worked with others, the father and the son. They worked together, assisted one another. Oh God, we need faithful assistance. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us make man in our own image, according to our own likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. They worked together. He was assisted. Praise the name of Jesus. Variable assistance help achieve great results. Variable assistance help achieve great result may god make you a variable assistant hallelujah for great results 
to be achieved. The Bible says in Psalms 68 verse 11, Psalms 68 verse 11, what does the Bible say? The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word. But the Lord did not come to preach it. He gave the word. But what happened? Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. When he released the word, assistants came to proclaim the word. Amen. God will give you a vision, but you need assistance. Amen. To run with the vision so that the vision can be achieved. I have seen companies close down, institutions die, churches destroyed. I've seen it. Amen. And we sometimes rise and say, this man was not called. This man did not, did not work hard. Praise the name of Jesus. You can find a man working harder than the ants. But without proper assistance, the company will die. The business will cross down. If the assistants are thieves, they are not faithful. They steal time from the, from the employer. They steal money. The company will die. Great investments have gone up and destroyed because of unfaithful assistance. I pray for your company to get faithful assistance. I pray for your institution. I pray for the church. To get faithful assistance. God released the word. But this word needed assistance. To proclaim it. Praise the name of Jesus. I've said the Bible. Is full of people. Who are called. And the people who assisted them. Let me show you some examples. From the Bible. Number one Moses. Moses was called by God. But for him to achieve his assignment, he needed the assistance of Aaron and Joshua. Amen? He needed the assistance of Aaron and Joshua. There is a time Moses needed the assistant, assistance of a man called Hul. Aaron and Hul. Moses alone with the anointing could not fulfill the assignment. He said it is true you want me to be a deliverer. You want me to go to Egypt. But I'm not eloquent. I cannot speak fluently. What did God say? God said okay you can't speak it is okay. So I raise for you an assistant. Your brother Aaron will be the prophet. He will speak on your behalf. Amen. Moses needed an assistant. They go to battle against the Amalekites. Moses, the anointed. Could not be the one on the mountain to lift up his hands and the same person in the valley to fight the battles. As he raised his hands, he needed an assistant in a man called Joshua to fight the battle. Amen. My brother and my sister, no matter how strong you are, you need. Faithful assistance. Amen. Exodus 4 verse 10. The Bible says. Then Moses said to the Lord. Oh my Lord. I am not eloquent. Neither before. Nor since you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech. 
and the slow of tongue. I'm not eloquent. So the Lord said to him, who has made man's mouth, or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seen, or the blind, have not I, the Lord? Now therefore go, and I'll be with your mouth, and teach you what you will say. But Moses says, no, I can't manage. But he said, oh my Lord, please, send by the hand of whoever else you may send. What did God say? So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses and they said, it's not Aaron the Rephite, your brother. I know he can speak well. So your weakness will be covered with Aaron. Look, he is also coming out to meet you. When he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. So I'm sending you, Moses, with all the miracles, but Aaron will be with you. I am sending you to deliver my children, to fight the nations that will stand before them. But because you can't fight, you can't fight alone. I'm raising Joshua. Amen. To fight the battles and you to stand in the position of God. May God raise a Joshua in this generation. May God raise an Aaron in this generation. May God raise faithful servants. Amen. Faithful assistants in our generation. David, a lion killer. A pair killer. David killed Goliath. But when it came to leading the children of before, sorry, before he ascended into the throne, he could not ascend on his own. He could not ascend on his own. Because Saul wanted to kill him. So what did the Lord do? He raised an assistant for David. Who was his assistant? The son of Saul by the name Jonathan. The Bible says when Jonathan saw David, their hearts were knitted. Their hearts were knitted. That Jonathan could reveal the secret of his father to David. Jonathan was the legal inheritor of the throne. If Saul died, Jonathan could take the throne. But here comes a man who will take his position. And he does not envy him. God makes him a faithful assistant to the one who will take his throne. This wicked spirit of fighting for positions... For fighting to rise to the top. When God has anointed you to be assistant. Must be destroyed. I'm saying it must be destroyed. Praise the name of Jesus. He, Jonathan could have helped his father to kill David. So that he becomes the king. But God raised him to assist David. To become the king of Israel. If God has raised you to assist. May you be found faithful. You could be the one assisting with the finances. That you ask. You ask is to assist with money. You go and do business and assist. The vision with money. Amen. You could be the. Most learned, but you might not be able to start the company. Somebody who has not acquired your level of education could be the proprietor, could be the founder, and God brings you to assist. I've seen companies in Kenya that were just about to die, but when proper assistance came, 
the Kambans rose to the top. Today we talk of Equity Bank. Equity Bank was dying. Until somebody by the name of Mwangi came to assist. Today the, the bank is across Africa because of a faithful assistant. <laughs> Some people with knowledge and the skill will seek instead of assisting to topple, to topple, to take over. To take over. But the assistance shoot the command to the top. Because of lack of assistance, great investments are being destroyed. Amen. You can't imagine how Kenya Airways makes losses. You can't imagine. It's because of unfaithful assistance. Amen. <laughs> Jesus was assisted by the disciples. So for the second point of David, you can read first Samuel chapter number 20 and verse 4. You see how God brings Jonathan into the life of David. Praise the name of Jesus. He brings Jonathan. First Samuel 20 verse 4. You can read from and then jump to 32 to 33. Jesus was assisted. So, okay, we can read it. So Jonathan said to David, whatever you yourself desire, I will do what? I will do it for you. Whatever you desire, I will do it for you. In other words, I'm here to assist you. Whatever you desire, I will do it for you. Verse 32. Jump to verse 32. When now the father wants to kill David, look at what Jonathan does. Please, verse 32. And Jonathan answered Saul, his father, and said to him, why should he be killed? What has he done? His father wants to kill him because he is a threat to his leadership. But yes, why should he, what has he done? A faithful assistant will defend the one he has been called to assist. He will defend. He will fight for his interests. Then Saul cast a spear at him to kill him. By which Jonathan knew it was determined by his father to kill David. So what does he do? He goes and tells David, run away for your life. My father is determined to kill you. Run away. This man almost taking his position, he tells him, run away. A faithful assistant will work for the victory of the one he has been called to assist for their success. Can somebody say amen? But we have a spirit which must crash, which must be bound. Hallelujah. Where those who are supposed to assist are out to kill the one they are supposed to assist. I was talking to a pastor this morning just fellowshipping this morning and as we were talking he tells me of a person who was brought into a church by a pastor friend now I have a friend and then I bring him to this church and I, I tell him we can work together he brought him into the board of the church praise the name of Jesus because he's a friend so he thought we can work together so this friend, he comes to the board and then influences the heart of members in that church. And when he had gained their hearts, he pulled them out to start a church next door. Betraying a friend who has brought you in to work together. That was not the case of Jonathan. That was not the case of Aaron. It is Aaron who carried the rod. Amen. It is Aaron who spoke. He could have taken up the ministry of Moses. 
But he respected Moses and assisted him. Jesus was assisted by the disciples. He was assisted. When he wants to feed the 5,000, he says, can you make them sit? When he wants to preach, to go and preach in a certain city, he sends them ahead. Hallelujah. They went ahead. They assisted Jesus to achieve the success he needed. They could go to the city to buy food when Jesus is doing ministry in the well. Are you hearing me? Praise the name of Jesus. Paul was assisted by Barnabas. You know everybody knew that Paul was a murderer. He destroyed the church. And then God converts him on his way to Damascus. When he comes to Jerusalem, the apostles could not receive him. They said, this is the same person who killed the members of the church. He took Barnabas to assist Paul to be accepted by the apostles. Then Paul shoots to become more prominent than Barnabas. Who do you know in the Bible? Is it Barnabas or Paul? Most of us, we don't even know Barnabas that much. But when you mention Paul, everybody knows Paul. But for him to shoot to where he was, or to, for him to shoot and God to use him that much, he needed an assistant. Raise up your hand and say, God, as I venture out. Say, God, as I venture out. Give me faithful assistance. I pray for those assistants in whatever you will do. In whatever you will do. In whatever you will do. In your calling. If God calls you to serve him, may he bring along faithful assistance. Acts chapter number 9, verse 26. And when Saul had come to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and did not believe that he was a disciple. They were all afraid of who? Of him. So what happened? Verse 27. But Barnabas, God, I need a Barnabas, took him and brought him to the apostles. And he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road. And that he had spoken to him. And how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. So Paul could not convince the apostles. He needed a Barnabas to convince them on his behalf. That is how he was accepted. And that is how his ministry started. That is how he started shooting. I declare our assignments will not be destroyed. Our assignments will not be destroyed. Our ministries will not be destroyed. Our callings will not be destroyed. Our investments will not be destroyed. Oh God, release faithful assistance. Briefly and quickly, let me show you what is the work of an assistant. What is the work of an assistant? Number one, the work of an assistant is to support somebody to fulfill his or her vision. To support somebody to fulfill his or her vision. The work of an assistant is to support, not to destroy, to support. Amen? You have a vision, you need support. Number two, are, are, are we together? Am I moving at a good pace? 
Hiyo speed iko poa. Ama ni slow down. Ni slow down. Beautiful. We need one another to support somebody to fulfill his or her vision. You need faithful assistance to support you fulfill your vision. There is somebody can go to the field and do business on your behalf and to bring all the money. Can you say amen? And bring all the money. Because you are not there. But they are out to support you. Amen. Salesmen who can be sent with the woods to the field. Sell them and bring all the money. Not to sell and then coordinate with the robbers to hijack them. And then take the money to go and subdivide. <laughs> you know, I used to work in a company many years before I got born again. And we could be sent to go and sell products. Then on our way back, we could siphon the fuel from the tanks and sell. Somewhere in the, in the, in the, in the, in the bushes there. We siphon the fuel. So that when we are bringing back the rolly to the company, it has no fuel. May the Lord forgive me. <laughs> but I was forgiven. I was not born again. We could see from the fuel. So when you bring the rolly, there's no fuel. So the company could be selling, but there is a leakage. The vision is not accomplished. The vision cannot be brought to maturity. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Number two, the work of an assistant is to push somebody. To push somebody to move faster. To push somebody to move faster in the direction he or she intends to go. In the direction he or she intends to go. The assistant pushes you to move faster to the direction you want to go. Amen. Pushes you to move faster. That's the work of an assistant. To push you to move faster to the direction you want to go. Somebody say amen. Hey, are we together? Number three. The work of an assistant is to stand with somebody in time of need. To stand with somebody in time of need. Jonathan stood with David in time of need. There is, he had, David had some assistance. The Bible says there is a time he desires, he desired the waters in the well of Bethlehem. And the Bible says three men broke through the camp of the Philistines to go and fetch the water. Say they desire the water. They went for it. Paul needed a Barnabas in his time of need. Moses needed a Joshua to fight in his time of need. An assistant is somebody who will stand with somebody in time of need. I pray that you will not miss an assistant in your time of need. I'm saying you will need an assistant in your life. Huh? You need an assistant who will stand with you. In your day of need. Number four. An assistant is somebody. To encourage somebody. To achieve his or her goal. To encourage somebody. To achieve his or her goal. To encourage. To encourage. Somebody. You need somebody to encourage 
There is nobody who does not go through discouragement. You know, some people think pastors are never discouraged. Their hearts are made of iron and steel. No. Even the great men get discouraged. Amen. Anointed people get discouraged. Great investors get discouraged. Amen. You need somebody to encourage you. Amen. If you are in the position to assist, may you be an encourager, not a destroyer. Amen. Don't take advantage of your position to pull down. May you be an encouragement. Praise the name of Jesus. Number five. An assistant promotes the values. Promotes the values of the person is assisting. Promotes the values. An assistant is somebody who promotes the values of the one is standing with. What does my boss stand for? I support those values. Does he support this and that? I stand with that. Amen. What is he strong at? That's what I'll support. Amen. Values. If the person you are standing with hates sin, there is no way you can be the one condoning sin. If he hates corruption, you can't be the one condoning corruption, encouraging the corrupt. If he's hardworking and you are out to assist, be hardworking. Amen. Be hardworking. Let the values they impress be the values you support. Number six. An assistant contributes to somebody's dream. Contributes to somebody's dream. You contribute your energy, your resources, your time, your expertise. You contribute your wisdom to the dream. I could be the one called, I don't know everything. If you are my assistant, you contribute your wisdom so that the dream is achieved. Amen. You contribute. Hey, you contribute. I've said, investors may not know everything. But when they bring assistance, they contribute so that the dream is achieved. And last but not least, an assistant comes to serve and be loyal to the one is assisting. Serve and be loyal to the one he or she is supporting. Praise the name of Jesus. You serve. Amen. An assistant serves the one is out to assist. May the Lord bless you with faithful assistance. May the time you need an assistant, let those assistants who are faithful come forth in Jesus' mighty name. I declare may God give you faithful assistance in your investments, in your business, in your career, in your calling, in the journey of life. You may not be, a, you may not be an employer. You may not need even somebody to work, but in one way or another, you need somebody to assist you in the journey of life. May you find faithful assistance in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for your word. Let this word bring victory 
in our callings, in our assignment, in our visions, in our mandate, in our dreams, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who have been bruised, those who have been hurt, those who have been fought in their journey to pursue their vision, I pray that you heal their wounds in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for ministries that have been destroyed. Let there be recovery in the name of Jesus. I pray, dear Father, oh God, for people who are crying because they were betrayed by the people they trusted. Let Jehovah Father healing flow tonight in the name of Jesus. And I pray that in this life, may you intervene in the life of my viewer. That Father, they get the assistance they need to achieve their dreams and their goals in the name of Jesus. I pray even for the ministry that my Father, I am leading. I pray for faithful assistance in this ministry. For us to achieve our vision and our dreams. And that Father, you will not leave us. You will not leave the burden on our shoulders alone. Raise faithful assistance to the glory and honor of your name. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You are watching us and you want to say tonight, I need the assistance of the Holy Spirit. I want the help of God in my life. That will come if you give your life to Jesus. Right now, let me pray with you to give your life to Jesus so that the helper, the Holy Spirit will come your way and help you in your weaknesses and teach you the things you might never know, things that people might never teach you in the name of Jesus. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I've received your word tonight. I open up my heart. I ask you to forgive me all my sins. Accept me as your own. And today I confess that Jesus, you are Lord and Savior of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You made that prayer? Today, Jesus is Lord over your life. Take a step, write a message on that page. Let us know you have made that decision. And we, we will be glad to talk to you. It will be a joy to assist you, serve the Lord, and also get to a place you can be nurtured in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you for that powerful decision. And just before we let you go, here comes our baby number. Right on your screen. And also our PayPal number. Take a step and send your offering, your tithe. Give a gift in support of the work of God. Pay bill number 340-754. Account number your name. Then Deliverance Church International. Ndege at gmail.com. In small letters is the PayPal account. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. And may God give you a faithful assistant in every area of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's appreciate our viewers.